Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge Costco haul. It is the month of August. It's like the very end of the month, the 29th, um, a couple days before Labor Day weekend. So this is my stock up haul for September, as well as we have um, some family friends coming into town for the long weekend. And um, so I got some stuff to entertain them as well. So let's just get into it. Um, I'll put the prices down below in the information section. So if you want to know any of the current prices, you can check down there. And there's no rhyme or reason. I tried to organize it the best I could, but it just didn't really work out because <laughs> there's so much stuff. So um, I got a big bag of kettle Himalayan salt potato chips. Um, I got several bags of chips that you'll see, and we'll probably break into a couple of them while our company's here, but I figured they can last us throughout the next several months um, for school lunches or just to have on hand. So um, anyway, the Himalayan salt chips. I got two bags of the Kirkland brand puppy food for our dog. So we're stocked up on that. I got this melon. I had never had it before. It's called a golden hammy. And um, it's supposed to taste like, kind of like the cross between um, a cantaloupe, but with the texture more like an apple. So I'm curious to try that. We got um, two four packs of this local microbrew. It's called Num Num Juice from one of our local breweries. And I thought my husband and my friend's husband would enjoy that while they're here. Two gallons of milk, our Kirkland French Roast Coffee. We have probably three quarters of a bag left still, but I'll just throw this under our cupboard. Um, so we have some of that on hand. Two packs of this oat nut bread. I'll throw those in the freezer. Um, this bag of naan. So I keep this in the freezer. We usually eat this with lentils or um, if we have a curry, we'll use some of it. Uh, you can also make pizza on it. So it freezes really well and then you can just take out however many pieces that you're gonna use. I got two bags of Dukes. I've not seen Duke sausages at Costco in so long. I used to love buying this at Costco and they haven't had it in like, I don't know, probably a year and a half, two years at our Costco. So I got two big packs of Dukes to throw in the pantry and send with my boys for their school snack or um, as part of their lunch. I got this big pack of cookies for when our company comes. Um, it's macadamia nut, oatmeal raisin, and chocolate chip. So I thought that would be a nice treat for the boys. Some head and shoulders shampoo, we needed that. This Catalina Crunch um, cereal. So I really like this, um, just like a cup of it with some almond milk on it. If I'm really craving a cereal or something, um, it's you know lower calorie, less sugar, that kind of thing. And it's super crunchy, which is why I love it. So I got another bag of that. I got this variety pack of cheeses. It has aged cheddar, the Jarlsberg, Swiss, the creamy Havarti, and the Dutch Gouda. I thought for lunch, one of the days that our company's here, we'll do just a charcuterie board. And then it'll also be good to have cut up cheeses for snacks with four boys running around. Um, this Oikos Triple Zero yogurt. It comes with vanilla, strawberry, and mixed berry. There's no added sugar, no artificial sweetener, and no fat in it. So we love having this. We make yogurt parfaits for breakfast some mornings, and then also just have the yogurt on hand for after school snacks and stuff. I got this two pack of orange juice. I never get orange juice. I got it in my last um, month's shopping trip as well. And um, it was nice just to have that boost of vitamin C, especially at the start of the school year. So I figured, I would get two more of these and then we can have it with our company for breakfast too while they're here. This pre-mixed margarita, my, it's my best friend from high school that's coming with her family. So of course we have to have some margaritas in the pool. Um, I got this six uh, set of LED micro lights. Oh my gosh, you guys, they had their Christmas stuff. Like I said, it's the 28th of August today and, or no, 29th. So they had all their Christmas stuff there, all the decorations, like the yard decorations, the wrapping paper, all that stuff. I was so excited to see that. So anyway, I figured with these, um, I love just cozy little corners in my house. And so, or like little scapes on tables and stuff. So I figured I could use these lights for fall time as well, because you can just have them plain white. And then at Christmas time, you can have the colored lights. So you have the option. And um, as soon as our friends leave, at the end of the weekend, I am decorating my house for fall and I'm so excited. 
our school in California starts early, so we started a couple weeks ago, and usually I like to have the house decorated for the start of the school year, but because our friends were coming from Oregon, I said I would hold off because it's still their summer break and then um, decorate as soon as they leave. So I'm really excited to put these out with like some pumpkins or, um, yeah, I don't know how I'll use these this fall, but I'll definitely use them. The coziest time of year. So what else? I got um, more paper plates. This Ancient Grains Probiotic Granola. So has almonds, quinoa, amaranth, amaranth, brand wheat, and kamut. I have no idea how to say that. So anyway, it looks good. I know I've had the Ancient Grains Granola before from different stores. And like I said, we've been having a lot of yogurt parfaits with that Oikos yogurt, granola, and then like fresh berries on it. So I needed to restock on that. I can just make homemade granola, which I probably will um, sometime in the next month or so, but it's just convenient to have this on hand. I got a rotisserie chicken. Can't go to Costco without getting one of those. They're only five bucks. And you can pull the meat off, stick it in the freezer, or just eat it over the next couple of days. Um, with this one, I'll probably pull the meat off and just freeze it, because I think we have our meals figured out the next few days. Uh, some more egg whites for uh, breakfast sandwiches. We have those a lot of mornings. Uh, English muffin, egg white, a piece of Canadian bacon, and a slice of cheese. A really good breakfast. Um, some onions for the pantry. I needed some more Cascade dish soap for our dishwasher. That. A two pack of this Cheddar Jack cheese. We are out of shredded cheese. I just love this for the convenience factor. So I'll stick one of these in our fridge and then this freezes really well. So I'll put one in the freezer. A Caesar salad kit. So this lasts through September 9th. So I figure towards the end of next week, we'd have it um, as a side with dinner or something. So I'll stick that in our garage refrigerator. Um, they had so many cute Halloween books, which I've never really see, seen at Costco before. <coughs> Excuse me. So. I got a few of them. So Click Clack Boo looks really cute. They have, there's a book called Click Clack Moo that our kiddos really love. And so this is the Hall Halloween version of it. So I got that, that'll be super fun to read. And then um, Peppa Pig Halloween costume. Um, Creepy Crayon. So they have another book like this called A Creepy Pair of Underwear. And my son, my youngest son, he's five, got it. Um, I don't remember if it was like for his birthday or what he, I think he picked it out at the bookstore. He like won, he got an award for something, um, earned it by good behavior or something like that. Anyway, so he picked that book out and uh, that's another book we love. It's so funny if you have little boys, especially, I think they would love it. So anyway, I saw the creepy crayon book and um, creepy carrots. So I thought those would also be fun for the fall and the spooky season. Um, Got some asparagus to have as a side for a few dinners. Lettuce uh, for salads, for burgers. We're gonna grill burgers while my friends are here this weekend. And I think I have burgers in my freezer. I need to check. If not, I'll have to go back and grab those before they come. Um, but then I had hamburger buns delivered in a Walmart grocery delivery yesterday. So we should be good to go. And then I have like onions and tomatoes and all that stuff. Um, peppers, we'll probably do fajitas one night while they're here. And then we love peppers with hummus and eggs, just chopped up, whatever. We eat these all kinds of different ways in curries. So I always buy a big pack of peppers. We got these Brussels sprouts. This will be a nice side. I'll roast these in the oven with some olive oil and salt. And, um, yeah, we'll have those. Um, I think I said, oops, covering. I think I said the onions. I needed some more Z-bars. We only have a couple of these left. My kids love these. I got the big five dozen egg pack. I think I only have about five or six eggs left from the last one I got last month. So I wanted to stock up on those. We'll have some eggs while our friends are here. Our, I will hard boil some eggs and then we just have eggs for breakfast a lot. These baby creamer potatoes. Um, these are a great side with a dinner just cut in half with olive oil and salt. You roast them in the oven on 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Um, and they're really good. I needed some more Tide Pods, so I got those. Baby cucumbers, we love these with hummus. That's the other thing I forgot to grab is hummus. Darn it. We need some more hummus. So um, anyway, got baby cucumbers. 
some spinach, throw these in smoothies and eggs, put them on breakfast sandwiches, whichever way we can get some spinach in our meals. <clears throat> some more carb balanced tortillas, again, for the fajita night with friends or just wraps. You can do chicken and Caesar wraps, um, just lunch meat and cheese, just some lunch meat, all kinds of ways you can, you can use these. So I got those. Um, these Aussie Bites, haven't had them in a couple of months. These are great, they last for a really long time. There's all kinds of good stuff. So rolled oats, dried apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seeds, and more. Um, these are a great snack for the boys to bring to school. I usually put like two of them in a little Ziploc and stick them in their backpack. And it's a good at school snack or after school snack. Uh, let's see, I'll go back here. I got some Krusty's pancake mix. I haven't had this in, I don't know, six months or so. I had a big bag that I purchased like, I don't know, a couple years ago, it lasted forever. And then when I ran out, I was just thinking I would make homemade pancakes. We don't eat pancakes very often. And so I've done that the last couple of times, but I figure with a crowd, it'll be nice to have this on hand. And I know you can also use this kind of mix in other recipes. So I figured I would grab that for the pantry. We needed some more uh, toothpaste. So I got the Crest, I think it's the 3D White or Pro Health, I guess is what I got. Some more half and half for our coffee, a bag of lemons and a bag of limes just for different recipes. I'm making like chicken burrito bowls tonight. So I'm gonna make some cilantro lime rice. So I'll need some limes for that. Another salad kit, which will be great to have on hand. This is just the queso crunch salad kit. It's really delicious. Um, it's kind of spicy, but my boys seem to like it as a side. So we got that. Uh, this is a super treat. So caramel s'mores clusters. It's chocolate, kettle corn, cooked caramel, uh, grams, and marshmallows. They had a sample at my store and it was so, so good. So it's not something we will have on hand all the time, but uh, definitely a fun treat for the weekend with our friends coming into town. And then I picked up this dipping sauce. It says the chicken sauce by Kinder's. And I always get the yum yum sauce. And I can't think of who it's by. G Hughes, I think, yum yum sauce. Maybe that's not right. I don't know. And we use it for like what we call Buddha bowls. It's like rice, pinto beans, cabbage, chicken, avocado, cilantro, and then some of the sauce. But I wonder if this is similar. Um, and if not, I figured it would be good on a rice bowl or just again, like with some chicken. So I thought we'd give that a try. I'm not sure when it expires, but it's a pretty big, it looks like next uh, September. So as long as I keep it in the fridge, I'm sure it will be fine. I got some pesto. <clears throat> I love doing sheet pans with pesto, gnocchi, sausage, some sort of vegetable like a carrot, all tossed together and roasted in the oven or just on some pasta, like on this five cheese tortellini, it's really delicious. So I got that to throw in the fridge. Um, this pressed juice, it's organic beets and we like this stuff. So got some to put in the fridge. These little mozzarella balls, we love these. Um, they're great for snacking. They're great to throw in a salad with like salami. They'd be really good with this. Like this basil salami. Um, yeah, that'd be so good. Some of the pesto even. So got those, blueberries and grapes, some baby tomatoes. I got several of these Adele sausages. So I got more of the spicy mango because they're going out for the season and my husband really liked these. I got them for the first time last month. We always get the chicken and apple ones, which we like, but he loved the flavor of these and I did as well. So um, they last through, I don't know, it was a really long, I wanna say December or something crazy. So I'll just throw them in the garage refrigerator and we'll have those as an option for, you can put them in eggs, you can eat them for dinner, you can have them for lunch, just like on the side with some steamed veggies and rice or whatever, potatoes, roasted potatoes. So great to have those. And then they had another, um, another kind that I'd never tried before. It was the bacon, mushroom, and Swiss cheese. So I thought I'd get those. Uh, I got two packs of this organic turkey breast. Um, this is the lunch meat that we love for school lunches, home lunches, that kind of thing. Got the dry salami for the charcuterie board, as well as my boys love salami for sandwiches. Um, I got some ham. I chopped this up and put it in quiche, as well as um, I'm gonna make some breakfast, like sandwiches on croissants while our company is here with scrambled eggs, ham, and cheese. 
So I'll use it for that. Some smoked pulled pork, again, throw in the garage refrigerator. Those are some drinks I got at Walmart yesterday that I need to put away um, for when our company's here just to stock us up that you see on the ground over there. Um, anyway, so the smoked pulled pork, I'll throw out in the garage fridge, fridge for a quick dinner, um, you know, on a school night when we have an activity or something going on. Baby back ribs, these are so good. Um, we get these every once in a while. You just, they're already cooked. You just warm them up in the oven, make some sides and it's an easy dinner. Some um, pork chops. I'll split this up into two. I'll freeze one, I'll probably freeze both of them, but then I'll have two nights of pork chops. I found a recipe for like a ranch pork chop in the crock pot that I wanna try, so that's what I'll use those for. Um, the Canadian bacon that we use on the breakfast sandwiches, this is also really good for homemade pizza. A bag of apples, some of these kiwis. My boys, we just cut them in half and eat them with a spoon. And my five-year-old was asking when we were gonna get kiwis again, because it's been quite a while since we've had them. The fully cooked bacon. Um, we still have probably, I don't know, half a package in the fridge, but I figure I'll throw this out again in the, the garage refrigerator just to have a back stock. This is so convenient for breakfast, for recipes, for all kinds of things. So I figured with our company coming, we'll eat you know, a lot of the other package. So this will just keep us stocked up. Um, here are the croissants that I got for those breakfast sandwiches. Sliced tomac cheese, I don't know if I mentioned that. And then we're, <clears throat> we're almost done. So I got these gift bows for Christmas time. They had them, so I figured I'd get them while they were there. This pack of Scooby snacks, it has chocolate and just the regular cinnamon graham cracker kind. Um, my boys really love these whenever they get them for like, you know, in baseball, sometimes families would bring them for the baseball snack and <clears throat> their teachers handed out some of these at the beginning of the school year. So they're always asking for these, but we never have them on hand. So I thought I would get um, that big box and it'll be a nice treat to keep them in the pantry and occasionally let them have them for snack. Um, these are the other bags of chips that I got that I was talking about. We got the sun chips that are chili lime the Doritos, and then the Siete uh, with sea salt grain-free tortilla chips. So we will be stocked up on chips for quite a while. I got some uh, Bounty paper towels. I got a two-pack of king-size pillows just because we need to replace our pillows. Um, some of them are okay, but some of them are just like, we need to throw them away. We've had them forever and they're losing their softness. Um, a big box of garbage bags. We uh, needed those for our back stock. We're almost out of the box that we're currently using, so I'll put that in the garage until we need it. I got this big case of hard ciders, again, for when our friends are here, um, just as an option. And yeah, these will probably last us for the entire year into next summer. We're not big drinkers, but when friends come, we like to have stuff on hand to have just cocktails or drinks or whatever with them. So this is the Ashland brand, and I've never heard of it but it came with the blueberry lemonade seltzer, the strawberry lemonade seltzer, old fashioned lemonade and peach lemonade. And it says that there's no sugar in it. So yeah, no sugar, no added sugar. So I'm curious to try that. Also got some toilet paper. And then this is the wrapping paper that I got. I'll show you on the front so you can see it's double sided. I love that you have that option to have, it's like you're getting six rolls to mix it up. And then, this one is double-sided as well. So that is what I got at Costco at this trip. I think we are good to go with the exception of our hummus that I need to go to the store and get and potentially burger patties I need to check in my freezer. So if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.